In this tutorial, we're going to talk about what a MailChimp audience is, the importance of it, and why you absolutely have to have one. This is part of the MailChimp playlist on this channel, where you learn pretty much everything you need to know about getting up and running with MailChimp, the free version of it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. If this is your first time here, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new videos. Now let's get started. When you create a MailChimp account, one of the very first things you're going to do is create an audience. This audience, as far as MailChimp is concerned, means all the people who interact with your business via email. If you have a paid MailChimp account, this could also include people who interact with you via Facebook because you can create custom audiences in MailChimp in Facebook using custom automations if you have a paid account. But with a free account and with most accounts, just think of it as the audience you have inside of MailChimp. So when you first create an account, there's going to be a button up here somewhere saying create audience. I have a full walkthrough tutorial showing you pretty much everything you need to do to get up and running inside of MailChimp. That's linked to in the card above and the description down below. This tutorial is just going to focus on audiences. If you have a paid account, you can also create more than one audience. With a free account, you can create just one. If we go to audience over here, this has everything to do with our audience. And my demo audience for this account is WP Learning Lab. And this is going to contain all the people who interact with my business. This is just a demo account, so that, that's not true in this case. But if I was using this MailChimp account for my business, that would be true. All the people who interact with my business come into here, into MailChimp, and then you organize them using segments, groups, and tags. You almost always will have just one audience. There are some rare cases where you might want two, but for each business, you usually only have one. A common example that MailChimp throws around is if you have a business that has buyers and vendors, you could have a separate audience for each of them, but you could also have them just as separate groups within your audience. So it really depends on how you wanna manage it, but the more audiences you have, the more you have to manage. If you have multiple audiences in your MailChimp account and the same person ends up in both audiences for whatever reason, that's gonna to count twice towards your contact limit. So keep that in mind as well. So this audience tab, we can go to manage audience over here and we can do all these things within our audience. We can add a subscriber, import contacts, create signup forms, create surveys. We have an inbox where people can reply to your emails that you send out and you can reply directly from MailChimp. You can manage your contacts, there's settings and there's view audiences. If I click on view audiences, you'll see all the audiences on your account. I just have this one for the free account and most businesses would have just one. You can, however, run more than one business from one MailChimp account. So you could have a paid account with MailChimp, so you can have multiple audiences, and you could have an audience for each of your businesses if you wanted to. That's the way I personally would use it. I just have one audience per business. And here's some general info about the audience. There's 22 contacts, 21 subscribers, 20% open rate for the emails I sent here to these guys, and 11% clicks. You can also add a person. Just click on the plus, add them in right here, you can add tags, do all kinds of stuff, subscribe. You can also customize this form in the signup forms. That's also in the main walkthrough video I referenced earlier. You can go see all your contacts inside your audience. There's lots of settings regarding your audience up here. Most of these settings are also found on the left hand side. The signup forms. Creating the sign-up form, I go through in detail on the other tutorial I referenced. There's also a separate tutorial for subscriber pop-ups. If you want to watch that, that's in the card up above in the description down below. Segments and tags are what you use to organize your audience. Because an audience can be big. An audience could be thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, and you want to organize them so you can speak to them more personally. For example, if you had a gardening website, not everybody's interested in potted plants but maybe a segment of your audience is. So you could segment them or tag them depending on what their interests are and then email them more personal advice and more personal offers. That's why I want to tag and segment. I've got separate tutorials on how to tag and segment inside of MailChimp. Those will be linked to in the card above or the description down below and in the MailChimp playlist, which is also linked to probably in the description. You can also create surveys for your audience. There's a preferences center, which allows you to add groups. This is going to be a separate tutorial as well. This is also another way to organize your audience. Then we have inbox, which is where you can send and receive and reply to emails that customers send to you in response to the emails you send out from MailChimp. And that's just in the audience section. 
Because the audience is the core component of your MailChimp account, everything you see inside of MailChimp applies to your audience. Your campaigns apply. Your automations apply. Your website applies. You can build a website inside MailChimp in case you didn't know that. The content studio applies because you're creating content to send out to your audience. The integrations apply. Everything applies directly to your audience inside MailChimp because the audience is the core. Without an audience in your MailChimp account, you don't really have a MailChimp account. I mean, what's the point if you don't have an audience of people in there? And so beyond just understanding how an audience functions and some of the things you can do with audiences, you don't need to know anything else about the audience specifically. The audience inside MailChimp is used to email out to your existing audience and you grow your audience with activities outside of MailChimp. And as I mentioned, I've got a full walkthrough tutorial showing you how to set up MailChimp and get started with it and start using it as your email autoresponder. And also in the same playlist, I have a bunch of shorter tutorials like this one, which explains core aspects of your MailChimp account to make sure you have a solid understanding of all the different components and how they all work together. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about MailChimp. I keep referencing this playlist in these videos and it has everything you have to know to get started with MailChimp. So make sure you check that out and also download this PDF right over here. It is the top most important email sequences every business needs. It's a smart PDF. So when I update it and add new sequences, they will be auto updated to your copy of this document, which is pretty awesome. And if you haven't done so yet, also click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.